Hey, how's it going? My name's Penny and today I wanted to talk about the books that I'm hoping to read in May. So I actually have a lot of physical books to read this month, which is weird because I normally don't read that many physical books, or at least it's normally half and half. I don't know what happened this month. No, I do know. I spent too much time on the library website. Oops. So it's probably worth noticing, noting actually all 12 books. Did I say 12 books? I've got 12 books to read and they're all from the library. So yeah, let's start with the ones that are not physical because like, that makes sense. So basically, I'm hoping to get through two audiobooks. Um, basically, I'm going to read the next two books in the Saga of Recluse series by Ellie Modisett Jr. I think I'm up to like 14 and 15. That could be wrong. I've lost count at this point. But basically, I'm reading Wellspring of Chaos, which is another one. I've actually started it today on my drive. It's kind of interesting. It's about this guy who tries to help people out, but then... Um, because of that he gets on the wrong side of this lord um, and his wife end up, ends up getting accused of murder and killed and his whole life kind of turns to shit and he has to go off into the world to find kind of a new life. And the world of kind of the saga of recluse is one where there is white chaos magic and also black order magic and quite an interesting kind of setup about how those two interact. So... Basically, this guy that goes out and he's learning about how that all actually works. Uh, the second one that I want to read from that series is Order Master, I think. I don't know anything about it except that it does follow a guy who's into order. I'm assuming that, actually. But I'm assuming it's someone who's uh, more involved in order magic. I've always enjoyed the characters who are on the side of order much more, so I'm looking forward to that one. So that's audiobooks. Also, Ebooks, ebooks are not physical, so let's talk about them as well. So I actually only have one ebook on my TBR this month, and the only reason I have it on my TBR is because uh, Books and Lala is running this. Probably some other people too, but Books and Lala, Lala is one of my favorite channels, and she is hosting this readathon called the Buzzword Readathon, and I think the second month of March. Um, and the idea is that she's going to do this readathon regularly and each time there'll be like a buzzword and you have to read books with that buzzword in them. So this time the buzzword is girl and I actually looked through my Goodreads TBR and I had hardly any but there were two so I'm getting both those books from the library. I don't have them yet but uh, the one I'm going to read in ebook form is Strange Girl by Christopher Pike. So Christopher Pike was one of my favorite authors when I was in high school. I do have a bunch of his books here. I know I did read, if you've watched my videos for a while, I did read his first series or his last vampire series really recently and I didn't really like the last books in that series. And I think Strange Girl might be a newer book by him as well, although I think it's still pretty old because I am well behind on his books. And I don't even really know much of what it's about. Some guy comes across some girl and she's strange. I don't know. I do remember when I read the synopsis, it made me think of Sati. Do I have Sati? I don't even have it. So Sati is this book where... This guy pretty much picks up this hitchhiker and it's this girl that claims to be God. And all this weird stuff happens and it's never really answered whether she actually is God or not, but maybe she is. Um, it's, it's definitely an interesting book. One of these ones that gets quite a lot into religious philosophy, which I like, but also like that paranormal element at the same time, which I also like. So since it reminded me so much of Sati, I'm kind of hoping it'll be similar um, Christopher Pike does often go for this really paranormal religious philosophy type stuff, so there's a good chance. So now, still talking about the buzzword readathon, we're going to segue into physical books, uh, because I am also going to get The Girl with All the Gifts by somebody, it starts with C something, some initials, another name, I don't remember, but The Girl with All the Gifts, it's quite popular, um, I'm getting that from the library. It is in transit, and when I picked up my books today, I hoped it would be there, but it's not. But it will hopefully be there 
plenty of time for three different i'm sure i have confidence in my library system so part of me is honestly like i don't know if i can read two books in a week at the moment given that i've kind of cut down the amount of reading i'm doing and trying to do some other life shit but at the same time i'm like penny you put 12 books on your tbr if you can't read two a week then that is incorrect maths so I guess I'm gonna have to try. So I have also got a couple of physical books here which I basically got out for Mermaid May or Mermaid. Oh, uh, my favorite month. I love mermaids and I've always said I want to read more good mermaid books but I've really struggled to find them. So I actually put four on hold at the library but the other two are very popular and I don't think I'm gonna see them for a while. But Two of them did come through, which is actually a bad sign that these will be the least popular ones, but that's life. So, <laughs> the first one is The Siren by Kara Cass. I don't really know what it's about. Something about she's not supposed to tell anyone she's a mermaid, but she's a mermaid or a siren. Close enough. Um, I don't really know. The cover is not the kind of cover I normally like. This looks like some girly romance. I'm not into girly romance, but you know what? I got it out. Sometimes books surprise you, so um, I'll try and read this one first, probably. And then the second mermaid book that I got is Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. So Mira Grant is actually the pen name of Shawnee Maguire who wrote the Wayward Children series, which is very popular on booktube, so you've probably heard about it. This, I don't really know what it's about, except that it's like a mermaid horror. I don't really read much horror, but I did used to read some Stephen King a while back. And in some ways, Christopher Pike is horror too, sometimes. Anyway, I don't know, I might like horror. I might just not read this at night time, I guess. Alright, so then the next physical book that I have is Magic Strikes by Alona Andrews. So this is the third book in the Kate Daniels series, which is one of my favorite series, and I'm rereading it in preparation for the new book and final book of this series that comes out at the end of the year. I'm really enjoying, I've only read two books so far, or reread two, two books so far, but I am really enjoying it, so I'm looking forward to this one. Basically, there's like a lot of mythology brought into this because it's set in a world where technology has kind of like, technology and magic are like a pendulum and technology has gone too far and now it's swinging back towards magic, but it kind of goes back and forth. So magic kind of come, is coming back in waves. So sometimes magic works, sometimes technology works. It's all a bit crazy and unpredictable and there's all these magical creatures all over the place and Kate Daniels is this mercenary trying to help people I guess while also having some drama of her own. Most of them are like mystery novels so there's a mystery that Kate's kind of investigating and figuring out what's going on but there's always like this supernatural magical fantastical element as well as like lots of action and just my favorite series. And then the last physical book I have here is Restore Me by Tahira Murphy. Um, this is the fourth or the first book, first book in the new kind of trilogy of this series. So there was an original trilogy, now there is this book and there's going to be a couple more. I really just want to read this. To be honest, the first uh, trilogy, Shadow Me trilogy, I found it okay. I really enjoyed the first book and the like very atmospheric uh, introduction but then when it kind of got into the more like x-men style stuff and the dystopian blah army blah 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 I didn't really like it which I'm sure is most of what this is going to be so you might say Penny Penny why why are you reading this why but one it's very hyped so I just want to see what it's about also I really enjoy even though I don't like the series I do really enjoy Whitney of Witty Novels videos and she is a massive Shadow Me fan so I feel like if I want to keep watching her videos I need to have read this so I can understand all, all of what she talks about. Also, she did let it slip that there is some of this at least is set in New Zealand. So I come from New Zealand. So I'm pretty excited about the fact that some of it is set in New Zealand. And so for that reason, 
I'm gonna pick it up. I will also say one thing though. This has got these deckled edges is what they're called. Deckled edges. Can anybody tell me why you would ever want deckled edges? As far as I can tell, some kind of fashion thing that people are like, ooh, it's like an olden day book. Like, honestly, it just looks like you made it badly. And if somebody could tell me, no, 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 it's not just an aesthetic thing. There's actually like a real reason why we would want awful pages like this that actually protect the book less well and make it harder to turn the pages like it's less functional why why would you want deckled edges so anyway it's got deckled edges so luckily it's a library book so i don't have to be annoyed about the fact that my pages are dumb now i will actually mention the only books i have i don't have them my sister has them my sister has the series of unfortunate events books and those do have deckled edges but it fits with the story in that the story is very quirky and kind of old-timey and it's set up with this idea that Lemony Snicket's been typing these books and so kind of would make sense that they'd be badly constructed but this is a book set in the future why would they have deckled edges why anyway not a fan of deckled edges but see what we think of Restore Me you never know I might love it so in my quest to find a graphic novel series or a graphic novel that I actually really enjoy, I do also have a couple of graphic novels. So the first one is Saga. Uh, this is the eighth volume. I do really like this cover. Look, it's like a rainbow zebra. Love it. And also our main character, Alana, looking badass. Pretty happy with that. Hoping to get a lot more of the children in this, as I said in my wrap up. Uh, hopefully that will mean I'll be able to enjoy it a lot more. I also have the first volume of Lock and Key, Welcome to Lovecraft. I don't really know much about this series except that like it's got locks and keys and I like that aesthetic. I don't know. I saw some people talking about it. It sounded good. It might be terrible. I really need to learn to... I don't know. How do you find good graphic novels? So... Those are all the books that I'm hoping to read in May. I believe that adds up to 12, if I can do my maths right. Because there's so many physical books, I really don't know whether I'm going to be able to get through it because often when I do read a lot, it's because I read while I'm walking places and it's a lot harder to read physical books while you're walking, especially because winter is coming here in New Zealand and if you've got an umbrella, it's especially hard to hold a physical book at the same time. I mean, I am pretty skilled at reading while I walk, but there are limits to even my skill. Or at least it means I read a bit slower because I am also making sure I don't trip over or step out in front of a car or die in some way like that. But I am still gonna have a go at reading all these books. I may need to curtail my Animal Crossing. Life is so hard, but we'll do it for the books. So let me know whether you've read any of those books and you think I'm gonna enjoy them. Who really knows? But I'd love to talk to you down in the comments. I hope that your May is a great reading month and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. The <laughs> <laughs>